I am glad everyone is here today. I wanted to let you know, many of you have not been in this room before, and so welcome to the newly renovated sanctuary. We are trying to be streaming. If you look between what the star, which is a clock, and the exit sign, you've got that R2-D2 thing. So we're doing the live streaming also. Um, if it works, is it working yet? It's working. It's working. So, Everyone out there in computer land could be watching us now. And if you love this service as much as I hope you will and you want to watch it again, you can do that also afterwards if you want. Or not, because <laughs> that's what happens. It goes out into nowhere and, and whatever happens. So, um, but just know that. And so when we ask you to do things like speak up, we can hear you in the microphone. Um, I wanted to tell you a story before we begin tonight. You know, many people think that the Star of David is the symbol of Judaism. And most of you have heard me tell this story about how the star is only a symbol for a few hundred years now of Judaism. It's a symbol in many cultures. Uh, but the real symbol of Judaism is, anybody know what the real symbol of Judaism supposedly is? Menorah. menorah the seven branch menorah. And so uh, you know the story, many of you know the story about how Moses is being instructed about how to build the tabernacle and he gets to the part where he's supposed to build the menorah and God says, okay, Moses, I want you to do this. I want you to build a menorah. It has to have seven branches for the seven days of the week. And each of the branches have to face forward but face inside and they have to have these parts that are all flower parts to it and he gives this whole description and Moses said, God, could you draw me a picture or something? I just, I don't understand what you're talking about. And God says, okay, let me explain it again. And he says again, seven branches, and the branches are facing forward, and they're facing each other, and it's made of these parts. It's all one solid piece, but it's got these parts that are flower parts to it. And Moses said, God, I'm embarrassed. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just can't get it in my mind. And God said, you know what? There's a guy in the camp whose name is Bitzalel. Tell Bitzalel what I just told you. And Moses has a really good memory he goes to Bitzalel and he says, God said, make this thing. It's got seven branches and they face frontwards and they face each other and something about flower parts and all one piece. And Bitzalel says, okay. And so the point that we learn is that everybody has strengths and Moses didn't have all of the strengths. I tell myself this story a lot. <laughs> but the other point is that some people are uniquely qualified to be artists, to see a vision. I love the fact that the guy's name is Bitzalel because some people see in that it means Bitzalel, in the shadow of God. So imagine this. Every morning when you wake up, I hope you say the prayer to your, that you say the prayer that you thank God for being created Bitzalem Elohim, which is related to the same word, the tzel, the image. Bitzalem Elohim. You wake up in the morning and you know that you are created in God's image. And you look out at everybody else and you say, ooh, they're created in God's image. And the way you interact with the world becomes much more awesome because you realize that about yourself and everyone else around you. But imagine, instead of just being in the image of God, imagine that you make a shadow of God. And then when you turn it into a shadow, different things can happen to it. You could go closer to the light and make bigger shadows. You can make it go sideways. You can change the shadow. That's one of the cool things that Bitzalel can do, is change the shadow and change the image and turn it into something else that inspires us. So for Shabbat this weekend, I want you to think about shadows. I want you to think about inspiration. I want you to think about awesomeness. And I want you to think about artists. So first, as you can tell, <laughs> we need to make sure that we left all of the worries outside that door because it's Shabbat, there are no worries anymore. And we need to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. I don't see enough breathing in here. I didn't hear the breathing, so try again. Take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Feel your shoulders relaxing. Feel like you are allowing yourself to be at peace, at peace. Find some peace in the moment. Today, I would like to invite Susan and Charlton Meyer up to help us. They've become uh, our, come on up, 
to come on up? I would like to. I should have said, would you please come up? Not that I would <laughs> like to. Please come up. Andrew wants to join them or no? No. Andrew will <laughs> have something to do later maybe? I don't know. Not really. They're going to help us welcome Shabbat, Shabbat by blessing candles and blessing the, the, uh, the wine, the symbol of, of Shabbat. And we are going to begin on page 82. And our tradition is we welcome Shabbat as if we're at home. And at home, we'd be standing up for this part. So if it's comfortable for you to stand, please rise. If you need to sit, please stay seated. And you can stand with us in spirit. Page 82. All right. There you go. Go ahead. These lights are only. Yeah. Can you hear us, Craig? On the microphone, I can't hear it all. Go ahead. These lights are only flickering flames, yet flames illumine our uncertain steps. Flames remind us of Sabbaths long past and of their beauty that delighted our hearts. May they inspire us to work for the great Sabbath of peace. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You hallow us with your mitzvot and command us to kindle the Sabbath lights. Amen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu We continue at the bottom of page 167 and 166 with the Kiddush, the sanctification. Their mic is on and it's not working so hot, so let's use this one. Go ahead. I gotcha. You want to hold it for him? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, bere peri hagafim. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Yum. You may be seated if you make sure you say Shabbat Shalom to someone near you. Wish them a peaceful Shabbat. And someone you didn't come in with? Someone you did come in with? Shabbat Shalom. Find somebody you didn't come in with. Find somebody you did come in with. Say Shabbat Shalom. Go out of your comfort zone. Go out of your row if you have to. We turn back to page 83 and we continue with service number three. And so for those of you who are new to this service and you see, I mean, we have, for those of you may, may or may not be able to tell that... Um, Today we have the Asbury Methodist Church confirmation class, and most of them, maybe all of them, have never been here before. So let me tell you that our prayer service is found in a sidor. You may have heard the word seder before. It means order. It will follow the same order. We have three different Friday night services in our book, and what changes is a little bit of the flavor of the English translation. The Hebrew will be the same. So I think you're going to like where we're going with the English translation of this one. At the bottom of eight, page 83, there are days when we seek material things and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbat, we wish not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we think only of ourselves. On Shabbat, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Therefore, we welcome Shabbat rest and we welcome the angels that accompany us on Shabbat by singing together on page 84 Shalom Aleichem Malachi HaSharet Malachi Yod Mi Melech Malachi HaMlach 
Shachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Bochem Lishalom Malachi HaShalom Malachi HaElyon Mi Melech Malachi HaLochim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Barachuni Lishalom Malachi HaShalom Malachi Kadosh Baruch Hu Tzedchem l'shalom Malachi ha-shalom Malachi ha-elyon Mimelech Malachi ha-melachim Kadosh Baruch Hu The synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel. Born of our longing for the living God, it has been to Israel throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its, its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, all who seek the eternal, find God here, and here find life. Amen. <laughs> Vit Adar, Vit Ale, Vit Alal, Shemeh de Kudisha, Prihu, Lela Min Kolber Hatava Shirata, Tushbeha Tave Nehemata, Dami Hiran Bealma, Vimeru Hame, Marahu. God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the farthermost star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, you cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us in the realm of nature and in the joys and sorrows of life. When, when justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts and we through righteousness behold your presence. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Barushim Kehud Malchuto Leolam Vared You may be seated except if your bar bat mitzvah comes in the year 2000 14 and hasn't come yet. <laughs> that was pretty specific, huh? <laughs> and we're going to not bunk into the projector. And we're going to turn... Oh, did I turn it on or turn it off? What did we do here? Hold this. And it is on. Ready? Yes. Hold it. And show us where you're starting. And go. Uh -huh. 
October, December, and thank you. We're going to say what they just said in English, at the bottom of page 88. You shall, you shall love, love your eternal, eternal God with, with all your heart, heart with all your mind, with all your being. Set, set these, these words, which, which I command you this day, upon your heart. Teach, teach them faithfully to your children. children. Speak of them, them in your home and on your, your way, when, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. I, the eternal one, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people a light to the nations. We are Israel, witness to the covenant between God and God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possession or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the eternal one. I am God, there is none else. We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors nor rob them. You shall not stand idle while your neighbor bleeds. We are Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Hamas. The word that it says is violence in the scriptures shall no longer be heard in your land. Desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of your truth. You are my witnesses, says the eternal one, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me therefore and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when we proclaim you, God, our Redeemer, as did our ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. <laughs> And it has been said, 
The Eternal One delivered Jacob and delivered us from the hand of one stronger than ourselves. Baruch Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael. We praise your God, Redeemer of Israel. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. O oh God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness, of contentment and rest. Baruch Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom, aleinu va'al kol amo Yisrael va'al Yerushalayim. We give thanks for the night and its rest and the promise of peace for all the world. Please rise for the tefillah, which begins on page 93. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufiya gitehilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanara, El Leon, Gomer Hasadim Tovim, Vekonehe Hakol, Vezocher Haste Avot Vimahot, Umevi Geula Levnevnehem, Leman Shimo Beahava, Melech Rose.